Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Quick news video we are going to jump right into. Hit that subscribe button for me. Like 60% of you watching aren't subscribed. Maybe you just don't know. Just scroll down below the video, see if the little subscribe button said subscribe or subscribe. Duh. Hit that button if you're not subscribed. A lot of times people just don't realize they messaged me. Nate, I didn't realize I wasn't subscribed. Just check because it'll help. All right, uh, let's get right into it. Rick Shields has been at the open venue along with a lot of other creators. Good Goods on its way. Peter Finch has been there doing his commentating. Rick Shields is posting a video today I am immensely excited for. His Break 65 Pro, Break 70 him breaks 85 guys something like that i don't know three people he's done it before uh, a pro x pro golfer who's trying to break 70 i think and then he's trying to break 75 and then guys trying to break 80 i think that's it i think those are the numbers that are correct regardless the reason why i'm excited for this video is not because of that it's because rick is going to be playing the open venue with the grandstands everything giving us a whole by whole look at the course before it happens this is very similar to what he did at the Arnold Palmer Invitational earlier this year when he did a break 75 there. And this is just smart. It's smart by, yes, and I know you're thinking, you're like the oldest test in golf, the oldest tournament in golf. They don't need a YouTuber promoting it. They don't need it. But what it does is it not only brings people in who may not watch the tournament, have a bit more interest in it, because a lot of people, believe it or not, watch YouTube golf that don't watch pro golf, but what it also does is for a fan of golf like me, it gives me a never before seen look basically at the course. It allows me to watch one of my favorite creators who I'm invested in and I care about go out and play this course that I am invested in and that I care about because the Open's being held there this week. And it allows me to really get a grasp on what each hole is gonna look like, how people are gonna play it. It's how I get excited for the Open. And so I think as we move into this new world, this new age, YouTube golfers being just as popular in a lot of cases as some pro golfers, this is definitely going to be something hopefully we see going forward. It's super cool. The Open's been really good. It's almost like the oldest tournament in golf is the most progressive because if you look at them compared to all the other majors, I feel like they have some of the most creator involvement, especially with UK-based creators. So kudos to them. That's really awesome to see. Speaking of the UK, there is something I'm, I'm just a little bit nervous for, and I want to talk about that, and that is Rick Shields and Good Good just announced a meetup. They're going to be hosting a meetup on Wednesday at the Walsley Golf Club in Bays on Bayswater Road, Walsley, Whirl, all of these places I can't pronounce, Wednesday, July 19th at 8 p.m. Now, Good Good does these fan meetups, I would say almost quarterly, if not like bi-monthly at this point. They host immense amounts of people at a golf course. Every single time they do one, it grows, it grows, it grows, it grows. Super cool, super hype. But you're now taking them the second biggest golf group creator group and you're putting rick shields in there with them i think that in and of itself is enough draw to bring an unmanageable amount of people out but then you put it just down the road from the open the one of the biggest tournaments in golf that's just hosting immense amount of people coming to watch that tournament that can then also bleed off to go to there all i'm saying is like if you guys have ever watched Nelf Boys and like older videos when they started doing fan meetups or whatever, that is really the level that this is starting to creep up to, especially when you're talking about combining these two channels together to do one big fan meetup. So I hope it all goes well. If they are able to execute this and like keep everyone under control, then this is going to be absolutely epic. But my warning bells are going off in my YouTube golf brain of being like, this is, this is going to be a lot to manage. This is going to be a lot of people. I think the one thing we have on our side is in golf, it's like we're used to being maybe part of a big crowd, watching people play a sport where you kind of be quiet and you kind of be respectful and kind of whatever. But at the same time, audience maybe skews you a little younger, a little more rowdy, all excited for the open. Like, it'll be interesting to see. So best of luck to everyone from both teams with this, this meetup. It's obviously going to be epic. It's huge for YouTube golf. YouTube golf, it's also huge that we're such a part of the Open Championships. It's very exciting stuff. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one.